season, which is more than this franchise has ever done it. Just what is it about this team that they, obviously I'll have good shooters on this team, but what's enabled you all to be so effective from three point range so far this year? I think the passing. I think there's a lot of guys that, that don't get credit for their ability to facilitate and, and pass the ball. And um, it helps us get easy shots and open shots, which um, probably boosts the percentage up a lot. Zora Stevenson. Hey, Brent, at halftime, I was talking to Ben Sullivan. And I asked him about the confidence that the coaching staff has in you. And he was saying the coaches have all the confidence in the world in you. What's your confidence in yourself right now to just be able to come off the bench and kind of just knock down shots immediately? I mean, I I don't have any control over, you know, when I get in the game or how long I'm in there. But the one thing I can do is shoot it confidently, you know, and that's just the one thing I, I kind of focus on is coming in focused and um, and ready to go. So, you know, just controlling what I can control. As a shooter, you know, Indiana was mixing up the defenses. When you see that zone, what goes through your mind? Shots, a lot of them, open shots. Um, no, I mean... In, the, in 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 that when you've got good passers in the middle like Giannis or or whoever was Bobby in the middle, um, it's just like it's 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 easy pickings, you know. Eric Dane, I guess what does it kind of feel like to have a bunch of teammates that know they're gonna find you? Like once you start to get hot, it looked like everybody wanted to throw a pass to Britain. Like that that was just kind of what it looked like on the floor. What does it feel like to have their trust already? Man. Um, I mean, it's great, you know, to know you're doing your job, um, you know, and you're helping your team is in the way that you can, um, you know, and for them to to believe in me, that's that's big for me, you know, and the coaching staff, um, you know, that's that's huge, you know. Jim Ozarski. Great. Um, I mean, it was just a couple of days ago that um, you we were talking to you about uh, just you guys not feeling happy or feeling great about the way it had gone, and now these two games so how, I'm guessing you're not surprised at how you've responded these last couple of games but I mean I would imagine that's a a positive feeling and something to build on that you guys have responded in this way the last two games yeah I don't I don't think them two them two games um that we were down by 30 in the first half really represented us you know how, how good we are how talented we really are I think um you know those are just two um two blips you know, two blips on the radars. We're past those games, and we're looking to get better and, and, and improve. So I think we're we're making the right steps towards that. Uh, at various points, you've talked quite a bit about developing the chemistry with Giannis and some of the other guys with the screens and where you like things, how, how where they like. I mean, at this point, 21 games in, um, is it still a, a constant communication process, or is it as smooth as it looks now? At times, especially the way they're they're able to find you with some bigger roles and the way they they distribute. Honestly, it's been it's kind of just been really organic, just kind of like unfolds, you know. Um, we don't really even and talk about it much anymore, you know. Just kind of unfolds and 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 you know things fall how they may, shots shots come how they may, and um, you know it's just been working. One more to Eric Woodyard. What's up, Brent? How you doing, man? What's up, bro? Um, you, you spoke of guys, you know, uh, not getting the, the recognition for being great passers. When you think about Giannis, and since you've been a teammate of his, have you saw how have you saw his playmaking improve throughout the year? Have you got more, you know, appreciation for his playmaking aspect as well? Like just taking him through being a teammate and seeing him on the playmaking side rather than just scoring. Absolutely. I mean, playing against him, um, you know, we would just stack in and and, and fill the paint to, you know try to make him make tough decisions and and you know sometimes that would work and you know sometimes it wouldn't but with him having the ability now and i think he, he's gained that over probably over the years um with him having the ability to kick it and find shooters and it, it almost makes him unstoppable you know um if he can if if, if you let him get to the hoop and he does it it'll, that's an easy two points every time but if you let him kick it to a three-point shooter it's, it's wide open threes and it will be a hard team to beat if um you know he keeps playing like this Yo, Spurs got to get it together, too, man. Yeah, I heard, man. I haven't even been watching. <laughs> All right, thanks, Brendan. All right, thanks, y'all.